Here's how to fix if your iPhone is not receiving text messages from an Android. Now, the first thing that we'll do is head into your settings here and we'll do a couple things in the messages section. So let's scroll to the very bottom and you can see apps here. So tap on where it says apps and we're gonna scroll down to messages. So scroll all the way down to messages, find it, there it is, tap on messages. Now, from here, we can scroll down a little bit, and what you're going to do is you're going to find where it says send as SMS or send as text message, and it says send a text message when iMessage is unavailable. So, what you're going to do is toggle this off, or if it's already off, you're going to just turn it back on. So, we're going to basically reset that send as text message because normally your iPhone will default to iMessage, which is the blue little bubble that texts from an iPhone to another iPhone. But if you have an Android texting you or you're texting an Android, that is a green text message bubble and SMS. So turn that off and back on and we'll tap on RCS messaging as well. You want to make sure this is toggled on. This will allow you to have rich text with them with good photos and reactions and stuff like that. So after we turn on both of these different things, let's just go back here and we'll scroll to the very bottom and you can see filter unknown senders. If this is turned on and you're getting text from an Android user that you don't necessarily recognize, then they'll just all be filtered to a different part of your phone and you could be getting them. You just could potentially not be seeing that you're getting those. So I would recommend turning that off. Now, the next thing that we'll do is hop out of here and swipe down from the top right. Now, when you get or receive text messages from an Android phone, that is through your cell phone carrier, not through the internet. So what we're going to do is tap on airplane mode. This will disconnect from your cell carrier and then turn it back off. This will reinitiate your AT&T in my case or Verizon, Sprint T-Mobile. And you can see I have two bars. You want to make sure that you have enough bars here to be able to get a good enough signal to send and receive those text messages. Now, if that's still not working, the next step that we'll do is head back into our settings. We'll go back here. We will tap on where it says general. And then at the very bottom, we'll do two things. The first thing is we'll hit the shutdown button. You'd be surprised how many times just turning off your phone and restarting it will fix a lot of issues or bugs with your iPhone. It could have been weeks or months without a proper reset. So just turn it off and turn it back on. The next thing we'll do is hit transfer or reset. And we'll hit reset here and reset all network settings. Now, Enter in that passcode for your phone, and you can see it will delete all of your network settings and bring them all back to factory default. Again, a lot of times your text messages from an Android or to an Android will be reliant on your network settings, and by bringing them all back to the factory default, a lot of times this fixes any bugs or glitches. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the like button down below and leave a comment if you still have any questions. Thanks, guys.